What's up, YouTube? Uh, just checked the mail today after uh, got my Avic Z110 Bluetooth installed. Um, I'm gonna do a little unenveloping. Uh, I'm real excited to check this out because um, what I'll show you guys in this video is um, what I'm gonna end up with is about a thousand dollar head unit and it cost me about six hundred and thirty four dollars I believe uh, these are the sand discs that will upgrade my Z110 to a Z120 and uh, the new user interface is real sexy I shot a little bit of video the old one it was kinda like the X910 Bluetooth but the new interface looks really really nice um, on the sand disc it'll also it's a firmware update so it'll update the Bluetooth firmware which I was having some problems with last night I could get my phone to sync as far as the uh, phone um, you know so like it rings and I answer it and I talk in the car and it's got the microphone and it plays through my speakers but the Z110 and the Z120 they stream Bluetooth audio so I should be able to I have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk card in my phone and it's gonna have a total of about 25 gigabytes of music on it so that'll be pretty much equivalent to an iPhone or an iPod or whatever so um, I was having some issues with that last night so hopefully the Bluetooth update will work so let me get to it man I was looking for this too I don't know man I got an addiction I ain't scared to admit it like when I got something coming in the mail <coughs> especially with all the problems that I had with stuff breaking and needing to get fixed like my my rebuild like man I'm like worse than ever when it comes to checking the uh, checking the mailbox and waiting for FedEx and stuff like that man cuz like like I said man to have you know five TVs in your car but not a head unit or a subwoofer or even an amp in your car for like a week man that's just torturous oh man here I go again with the one handed it's kinda hard to do while holding the camera I got a tripod for this dang thing I need to use it sitting right on top of my computer but I'm lazy alright let's see Alright, I had to bust out with the old teeth method there for a second because, I don't know, man. When you go to edit stuff, the less you have to edit, the better. Alright, so, what I've got, wow, I was kind of hoping there'd be some instructions, but anyways. Alright, what do we have here? We have, we have a four... 4 gig and it looks like a 512 uh, the 4 gig probably has the maps on it and um, yeah I don't know that's just an educated guess but I know the map update is big too um, and that's important because <laughs> if you're not running updated maps on your navi unit you will end up somewhere that's not where you think it should be so uh, my girl gets home in probably about two hours from work, and I'm going to uh, do the update, so I'll shoot some footage of that. Uh, so far, the problems I have with the unit, like um, the hardware hack to get it to play while you're driving, it's, it's hard to do because the pin on the harness is tiny. Um, I did it, but it's still griping to me about uh, the handbrake blah 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 when you turn it on so that means it's not working so if it was driving the video and the navi and stuff like that you, you couldn't mess with it so I need to mess with that I'm half tempted to just keep my uh, X910 Bluetooth because that I got it to work on that but you know whatever I'll just get the pin to work it's just really hard you gotta do it until it works so uh, yeah I'm gonna cut to that What's up, YouTube? It's Lou Dizzle. Gonna take you on my little mission of upgrading my Pioneer AVIC uh, Z110 Bluetooth to a uh, Z120 Bluetooth. Uh, the price difference is pretty big. Um, 
the Z110 Bluetooth goes from between 7 and 900 and the Z120 goes from between like 850 to like 1100 because um, you know if you buy the Z120 brand new uh, it's got all these features installed and you don't have to update it and all that stuff and uh, as you guys will see man the up the updates are pretty uh, pretty cool like the user interface is a lot better and all that stuff so and uh, I'll probably say it a couple times while I'm filming this like when you when you update the firmware on your head unit you know you got a nice piece so um, uh, for right now, I just ejected my uh, 16 gigabyte SanDisk that's got all, a bunch of music and all that stuff on it. I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if this new head unit can take a 32 gigabyte SanDisk card. Because uh, I know 16 was the limit of the X910 Bluetooth. But that would be a nice touch by Pioneer if on this upgraded, more expensive, higher end unit that it could take more than uh, 16. But I'll have to find out. I think the Z130 Bluetooth that came out does um, does it you know probably accept a, a higher size but I'll have to look into that it's not really relevant anyways because with the 16 gigabyte card and when I have the laptop under the seat I'm gonna have two terabytes which is 2,000 gigabytes of storage for my music and uh, music videos because um, you'd actually be surprised when you're playing high def videos, uh, that'll chew up two terabytes real fast. So even a, a couple hundred high def music videos, I uh, still have some space left. But I'm gonna have uh, a couple hundred gigabytes of music too. So in the car, man, it's gonna be a multimedia just experience. Cause um, you know I'll be able to stream Netflix. I'm gonna do a demo video on that of uh watching netflix while i'm actually driving down the road not just in my garage uh in the car on the six tv so that should be pretty cool but all right i'm gonna get started here grab my uh four gigabyte here which obviously has the major update now the interesting thing is is when this update was first available uh this will cost you 200 bucks but i got it for like 30 bucks it's awesome Mm, I like that. So, turn the light off there. Turn the macro on so you guys can get a real good view. Let's see, I think this middle one here. No, it's going to be the end one. Alright, so let's begin update. Yes. Oh, this is a fail. I got to get the password. I forgot about that. I'll be back shortly. Alright, back again. Uh, I guess it was in my email, the instructions how to do it. So, uh, putting the first disc in. And as I was watching the YouTube videos on how this process is, I was just really impressed that my head unit is intelligent enough to where, I mean, you do a firmware upgrade and it totally changes it. That's pretty awesome. So, this process takes about 30 minutes, so I'm just going to shoot most of it and edit a little bit out because I'm not going to make a 30 minute video while it's doing all this so and it's going to turn itself off so this is the first step I put the first disc in it was actually the smaller disc that was supposed to go in first per the instructions uh, one of the one of the discs the one that's in now is a 512 megabyte uh, sand disc which is incredibly small I didn't even know they made those anymore uh, I figured the 4 gig one went in first, but I guess I didn't look at the uh, I didn't look at the disc itself because it said one, one goes in first. Oh, that one's done already. It's doing a little bit of a reboot now. Since this is uh, the ghetto update, it's not like the official one from Pioneer. I'm curious to see if it'll have any issues. Probably not, though. A lot of people are making a bunch of money on eBay doing this. Uh, that's the infamous warning there. Um, I got the uh, bypass hack, which, like I said in one of my other videos, I already kind of knew how to do it, but I wanted to make sure it was the same for this one. And it's hard as hell to get that pin in the next, the next slot and get it to seat correctly. So, all right, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do that. All right, now let's see what happens. 
Okay, do eject sand disk. Okay, eject that. Now it says I should be able to do this and uh, enter uh, any kind. Do yes. All right. So it said to enter any alphabetical whatever. Uh huh. Yeah, it worked. System will reset. Okay to proceed. So now it's gonna do the major update now. And it's gonna take a while. Yeah, see, it's rebooting already. It's pretty crazy now. It makes me nervous though, man, because when I think about it, since I bought this used on eBay and stuff, like that would really suck if for some reason this screwed up and it turned into a brick. When I mean brick, it's like electronic equipment that, um, you know, <laughs> doesn't do anything. Because this would wipe out like the firmware on the head unit. And uh, it, it, once you wipe out the firmware on something like this, you really pretty much got to send it back to Pioneer. Because uh, then it doesn't even know what to do anymore. So this is the part that takes a long time. It says 30 minutes left, so I'm just going to uh, do some editing magic, and I'll see you over there shortly. Wow, that went from 30 minutes to 7, like that. All right, see you in a second. All right, so it reset, and uh, it's asking me, you know, English, blah, 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 so I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I may just do English, yes. All right, now it's going to restart, and I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm gonna make a custom splash screen uh, that says Ludizzle and uh, Crescendo Audio and uh, Audio Technics and uh, once I get the DC stuff in, that'll be the DC also. Mm, interesting, it didn't gripe about the parking brake this time. Oh, uh, that's because it's off, that's why. Alright, let me do... Alright, I'm a little confused here. Home. Alright, so I'm going to go to settings, Bluetooth, uh, go down, firmware update, firmware update, yes, alright, look at that, updating Bluetooth software. Now, I hope this is going to have an effect because for some reason I could not stream audio from my uh, T-Mobile my touch 4g which i should be able to but um i mean i got it to work as far as the phone and you know playing through the car radio and the microphone and all that stuff but um I, you know i'm already gonna miss out on a bunch of features from this head unit because i don't have an iphone like you know i'm a technical person and um you know i like to do stuff like streaming netflix from iphone to uh the head unit. You know, I mean, I'm gonna be able to do that anyways with the laptop connected to it. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with iPhones in these AVIC units. But uh, I actually emailed Pioneer's customer service and asked them if they'd be doing anything for the Android platform, and uh, they kindly responded to me that they had nothing even planned right now. So all us Droid users were screwed because everyone's making stuff just for the iPhone which is pretty weak that's a fail you know I mean a lot of people don't have even the credit to get an AT&T contract or a Verizon contract which um, you know if I tried to get something through them they'd probably want a big old uh, deposit for me so anyways uh, this is updating this will probably take another seven to ten minutes so I'm gonna cut to uh, when it's done alright firmware updated that's a thing of beauty click OK on here and I'm actually going to start the car because I'm going to be out here for a while so this is the first time that it's booting with the uh, 
basically like a, a different operating system on it. It now is successfully transformed from a uh, AVIC Z110 Bluetooth to a Z120 Bluetooth. Maybe source. Let's go disk. Look at that, man. That side, that side thing there. It's like a slide. It's like an iPhone. You just click on it, and it goes. We got uh, there's just a whole slew of new stuff on here. But um, I'm gonna adjust a bunch of my settings because it's totally reset. And I'm also gonna open my garage door so I don't kill myself. Uh, another part of this update, my girl's gonna kill me because uh, I just ordered about $150 worth of uh, zero gauge. Man, I've been telling y'all in my videos, I don't like using four gauge, but that's what I had. So, uh, you know, that's what I had to use. But uh, the zero gauge, the cadence that Okanagan DC Audio recommended, that's what I went with. And uh, I got 49 feet of zero gauge coming and 17 feet of ground. And I ordered a 20 pack of uh, red and a 20 pack of black. So, uh, you know, you know I'm going to be shooting some video of that for you. The only thing is, is I'm going to have to get a torch and some solder. Because uh, I've been crimping these four gauges and they're a pain in the butt because it comes off. And, you know, then you got to hop four gauge. Yeah, anyway, so uh, zero gauge is on the way. I'm going to adjust some settings and uh, I'll do a little wrap up of this once I'm done with that. One quick little feature I am going to show. Uh, while I do because this is just awesome you can just basically tell it what you want uh, the icons and stuff there's a ton of icons for this thing and uh, there's only certain ones you're gonna use so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that like watch check this out watch this slider action here oh no I don't want gas station anywhere okay so it's gonna take me a little bit to get familiar with this there's so many all right let's do I want to do stuff movie times that would be pretty cool except I'm not using the MSN uh, stuff because it's not even available anymore all right what do I want to do I'm gonna put a rear view shortcut on there put that down there in the corner so that way I can uh, check it out dial pad that's for the uh, phone so I'm gonna go ahead and add that as a shortcut I mean there's just so many freaking things in here let's go ahead and put contacts in there too even though I gotta resync all that stuff oh yeah there we go disk be using that one a lot FM my girl uses that one I don't like listening to the radio uh, let's see it sucks I won't be using the uh, iPod but USB I will be uh, let's see Bluetooth audio definitely I think as a matter of fact dial pad you're getting moved down because one of my main ones that I use is the SD card I uh, don't have any XM or Sirius Right. All right. Well, that's the icons that I can use and watch. You can you can like flick it. You're supposed to be able to flick it real fast too. But I don't know. Maybe that's on the other on the uh, the other one. All right. Well, that's pretty much all I'm gonna customize because uh, that's all I'm using. So I just wanted to show you guys that because that's one of the cool things. But I gotta tweak my audio and open this garage door before I die. <laughs> Alright man, I had to show you guys this because this is, this is pretty awesome. I've never had this on a, uh, turn this down a little bit. Never had this on a head unit before where I am playing uh, a song right now on my phone. And it is transmitting the audio wirelessly over Bluetooth. And where it says, uh, let's see, Bluetooth audio right there man that's pretty cool so now I'm on my phone
play some DMX. Let me randomize it a little bit because I got so much weird stuff on here. says M&M &M for the picture. Weird. Let me find a good song. I've got so much stuff on my phone because I, I got the 32 gigabyte card on my phone and I'm barely using any of it. I kind of want to hear what the quality of the uh, audio is. Find a good song here. Waka Flocka. Here we go, this is a good song. I don't know why. <laughs> I think something screwed up in my computer. Because this is the actual song. It's Trick Daddy. But it's got the album cover for Eminem. But, that's my phone. It's wirelessly playing. Oh yeah, sounds good. So, the update to the Z120. Uh, that fixed a Bluetooth problem. I love it when companies come out with stuff that fixes things that are wrong with their head units instead of just sweeping it under the rug. So, I'm out here in the garage playing around, man. If I find something else on here, I think you guys will like. I'll be back.